31st of December 2017. Okay, this is the 15, 15 year old yeah. papillon male Newton or not? No, I think. Let me check. No, Newton. Newton. No, not Newton. No Newton male papillon. Now, this is a classical case of the dog which has a retained testicle and not Newton. And you can see here. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, you hold the you hold the arm piece first. Uh. You can see that. See, hold on, uh. You can see that this dog should have been neutered long ago, but she didn't neuter the dog. And then this is a cancer of the testicle. It's very big already. Normally, the undescended testicle in in a male dog that has not been neutered when she, he was young. Uh. The testicles sometimes do develop into cancer. They, the cancerous. That's why the size is so big. Now the, the other testicle is here, the normal testicle has shrunken. Instead of normal size is shrunken there. Okay, so this is the right okay then come come on. And then turn down. That one that one can cause pain. That they can account for pain so in the in the dog old dog because the testicle is cancerous so sometimes the cells in the testicle can be painful when the dog lies down. So but I know I palpate it, it doesn't, doesn't seem to have any pain. There's the right undescended testicle. The left one has shrunken to very small. Now, so that's due to sometimes the hormones. Uh, the hormones of the cancerous testicle has uh, shrunken the left normal descended testicle. Or it was born like that, I don't know. It, it could be born with a very small uh, descended testicle. So that was about 15 years ago. So. Okay, so the pain actually is mainly here. Now, this, this pain can cause the dog to be not able to, to poo and pee properly because it's painful. Mm. So it let go of urine and, and stools. I don't, I'll check the pain again. Now, this, this one is by palpation. So I start from here. I start from here. Cervical, spinal cord, then the thoracic, and then the lumbar. So just use finger and and uh, four finger and the third finger. So I just press a bit. <coughs> I hear the pain. So this uh, this part is painful. Mm. This this is above the shoulder blades. Uh, so let me go down some more. <coughs> so, so so quite a big area. <coughs> so what's this spread there? So it's quite a big area. Then this is okay really. Up to here is okay. So the pain is in the cervical thoracic area. So one possibly the dog might have fallen down. Does it falling down from the sofa or something and no. that hurt the hurt the spinal area? Oh but definitely there's pain here. So of course the dog can't pee and poop properly due to the pain because the nerves are supplying the bladder and the, the rectum, the intestines. So, so the conclusion is that uh, urinary incontinence and the stools are uh, incontinent due to pain, uh, so pain in the, in the back area, spinal area, from cervical, probably C7 to T3, this area. Now, but the dog can walk up, so also there's so it's good news. It's not a serious one. It's only happened three days ago. Right? Oh, but there seems to be some pain on the neck, on the neck as well. Huh? Some pain on the neck. Now, what, what did you ask about the eyes? You asked something about the eyes. Yeah, I know that this side he he basically cannot see very good, but the other side. Okay, you see the eye. This freaking old dog. Very strange. It's some uh, cornea whiteness. Huh? Uh, this this eye there? This eye this eye should be a strong strong relax okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This eye did the dog knock into anything? No. No they can see though when you walk. Huh? You did not into the chair. Oh. Okay. So it's the cornea white so. Information, but now the main thing is the pain. 
So you will solve the pain. <coughs> then at least the dog can uh, lead a normal life. This fat old dog. Uh, as far as the testicle tumor is concerned, we will wait and see uh, because it's uh, in great pain now. And uh, that explains why it cannot pee and poo normally. It just let go uh, for the past three days. Also, now we treat it for the painkillers first. Huh? Okay, then there are also blood tests. Huh?